Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Thank you so much once again for joining me for tea time. Today we have a little bit of clove, some cinnamon, green tea, and some other goodness in here. The spice is just so, it's just good, just simply good. Anyways guys, today we're gonna be talking about Canon. There's a new patent that came out a couple of days ago. I wanted to talk to you guys about it and do a little speculation and get your input on this. I've read what other people think and I wanna give you what I think is going on or what possibly could be going on with this innovation. This brand new, I can't even believe it. Whenever I see Canon do something new, I'm like, oh my God, guys, there's innovation. There's something going on. They're not just doing the same old, same old. I cannot believe it. Anyways, basically what they're creating here is a flash, right? A new speed light that has a built-in fan. It has ducting going through it to cool the speed light. Haven't seen it before, something new. Wow, finally guys, finally. Well, looking at other people's thoughts on it, some people are saying that it just has to do with just cooling the inners of this speed light when, let's say, using the LEDs for a modeling light. And that makes sense. And it probably is one of the cases. But I wanna dig a little bit deeper, I guess, just a little bit deeper today and speculate on what they can possibly do with this, maybe now or maybe in the future, because we know that heat is the bane of all cameras. I don't care if it's DSLR or mirrorless, any type of small device that is trying to do a lot produces heat, all right? And now we're trying to just get these things to do 4K, 6K, 8K, who knows what's next, and at very high bit rates and have to do these calculations extremely quickly, and that just produces heat. That's just it. That's why there was a lot of cameras that came out that were having a lot of heat issues because there was no way to dissipate the heat. And with the mirrorless side, the units become smaller and smaller and smaller. Perfect example is Sony. They had a lot of problems dealing with heat when they first came out with their A7. They've worked them out and we don't see as much heat issues now. They've figured out how to duck that heat. The question is, how do we go forward? How do we go faster and faster and faster knowing that heat is the bane of these devices? basically of all electronic devices. But like I said, when they get smaller and smaller and smaller, the heat has to go somewhere and they want to make sure that these units are weatherproof, okay, sealed. And when you seal something, that's it, the heat can't come out. Well, this is a very interesting unit and let's just get into it. I'm gonna show you my screen, I think. So this is what the new speed light would look like from the inside. Now remember guys, they only tell the story that they need to tell. Some of this information here might be from an old unit and they're only highlighting or showing the stuff that they want the competitors to see, all right? This might not be all exactly how it will end up being. That's just how patents work, all right? They might do a revision to this patent down the road or whatnot, but Let's get in a little deeper here. Now, I think Canon News and a couple others, DP Review and some other guys put up an image that looks like this. Now, when we look at this, let me highlight this. We can see that there's an airflow that's going in this direction. Now, if we look at what this is going by, let me grab a red marker. Right over here is an LED. And over here is where you can see the flash discharge tube. Now, that tube and this LED get very hot and it makes sense to have the airflow going around it to cool it. But the problem with this image is it doesn't tell the whole story. So what I did is I went onto the patent site and I downloaded all of the images. There was like 18 and looked through them a little bit deeper. Now, if we take a look at this image, it gives a little bit of a different picture. Let me grab the highlighter again, and you can see the flow now moves in this direction once again, but now we're seeing where it's going. Let me grab the red pen. Here we go. So this is the flow direction, okay? And we're seeing that it's coming in over here, all right? And it's going out 
over here. So we see this ducting that's coming in from the bottom, let's say, and then moving through the flash unit and ending up coming out the front. A little bit different picture than what the other sites are showing here. So a lot of the people, like I said, are speculating that this is just simply to duct or route the heat from the unit during, let's say, modeling light use, right? When you turn on those LEDs for modeling or maybe for high speed flash where it's really heating up a lot to cool it down. And that's probably the case. But let's speculate a little bit here and let's look at it a little bit deeper as to what it could be possibly or what it could be in the future. This is the stuff that I like. Now, my question is what is in here? 147. Is there any other duct work in here? That's one of my questions. Also down here, 105C. What is going on down there? Now, if we look at an image from underneath, you can see here 105C, it looks like this hollow space. How about if we had airflow coming in from the bottom, right around this 105 area, coming through here, following the path as shown, and then coming out the front. What would this afford us? Number one, yes, it will cool down the actual unit itself, but what it, could it also do? How about if we had flow coming in from the bottom, this is the bottom of the unit, coming through the front, let's say right around here, back through here, and now doing this deal again, just like we saw from before. What would that afford Canon? Think about this. Now, is that the case for this unit? I don't see it, all right? So it probably isn't. But how about if this lower half down here is actually from the old model and the top half up here is from the new model that they want patented and they'll change the lower half later that will show this duct work. Let's just make believe this is the case. Like I said, what would this afford Canon? Well, this would allow Canon to not only cool the flash itself, but cool the camera. Why is that? Well, when you hold the camera up, we know that the heat rises and the hottest point of the camera will be the hot shoe, right? That's where the heat will end up for the most part, unless you're flipping it to the side. But for the most part, the heat will end up towards the top. Now, how about if we were able to now duct that heat from the camera through the hot shoe into this new unit and dissipate the heat out the front of the flash. You're killing two birds with one stone. You would actually be able to cool the camera as well as cooling the flash at the same time. Now wait, it gets a little better here. Now people will be like, well, cooling the camera would be really good, right? Cooling the flash is really good. Well, how about if we can do it now without a flash? How about if Canon now came out with a small little unit that just plugs into the hot shoe when you're not using this flash that actually has that same mechanism in it, the little fan and the little ducting, all right, that pulls the heat out of the camera, out the top and blows it out the very front with this little tiny unit. Wow, guys. Think about it. You now don't need a mega fan inside of the camera like their C-Series have. Why do I use a C-Series for all of my video or professional video work? Because it has internal cooling and I can record 4K or whatever I want indefinitely all day long. And I never have to worry about the camera overheating. Now, if they can do this type of setup, and when the flash is placed onto the hot shoe, it opens up a flap that allows the heat to come through the top of the camera. Or if you have that new tiny blower device, okay, ducting device plugged into the hot shoe, once again, it releases that opening, right? And allows that air to be blown out. So you still have a seal, so you don't have to worry about weatherproofing, all right? It's still sealed really a interesting possible concept here, guys, a possible concept. Now, are they doing this? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. But I just looked at it and I said, you know, this would be a very interesting means 
of cooling a camera without having to make the camera larger. The flash unit would be its duct if the flash is attached and a small, tiny little ducting device can be plugged into that hot shoe if you're not using the flash. I freaking like it, guys. I like it. <laughs> Patent it. Roll the presses. This is it. We're doing it. Who's in with me? Who's in? <laughs> anyways, if you see this down the road sometime, you're going to know where you heard it first. So anyways, guys, this is just some thoughts that I have. You know, I look at patents sometimes and I just look at them a little bit differently. Now, am I right? Probably not. But I just wanted to get your thoughts on it. Do you think this is a possibility? We all know that, like I said, heat is the bane of cameras, especially mirrorless cameras. We need to somehow duck them. We need to somehow cool them. And as they're getting faster and faster and faster and handling more and more data, heat is a big issue. This is a really good answer, in my personal opinion. What do you think? What are your thoughts on it? Once again, in the comment area, let's have this discussion. And after we're done discussing in the comment area on YouTube, head over to my community, my creative community, my creative Discord server. I specifically made for you guys. You can find it over at community.jchristina.com. Once again, community.jchristina.com. Sign up, it's free. Get in there. Let's have this discussion. Also, don't forget to grab my ebook at jchristina.com forward slash ebook. How to make sharper images. Really, really good. Even pros might get some good information from this ebook. Go download it. Once again, it's free. And finally, use coupon code or promo code YT20 at checkout. So if you pick up any product of mine at jchristina.com, you will get 20% off your entire cart. So that's it, guys. I'm out of here for the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun with it. <laughs> Many blessings to each and every one of you. Take care, guys.